Hi, I'm Mrs. Mammis, and I run the marketing program, the Buck Stop, um, the school new, uh, the school yearbook, and gosh, oh, work-based learning. And Natalie's story really began last year. Um, as an intro to a yearbook program, she really rose to the top. She was named as the portrait editor at the end of the semester because she just took on her job and then took on <laughs> editing and helping all the rest of the portrait sections, which is a pretty difficult section to lay out with all the pictures and to keep accurate. Then during the second semester, she kept checking back. How's the yearbook going? What do you need help with? And she wasn't even in the class anymore. Then when we were finished the book and we distributed it, she came up and she said, have we thought about next year? Which I already had. We had the cover kind of done and my class was working on it. And she critiqued and was interested to know what kinds of templates they were setting up to cover next year. And she just kept checking back between classes, during her lunchtime, after school. She's in the program this semester and she's already risen to the top as a student leader. She is named as our general editor. So she takes that job very seriously. She looked at the work groups of the students and didn't think about who her friends were or who liked each other in the class. She thought about the students' <laughs> strengths and put them in teams and put them on pages where they would be able to be successful. Um, we had our first printing and she sat down and she edited every single one, um, looking for how they fit the template, how well they fit our overall design, things that they could prove on it. Every single one of her critiques was positive. Didn't mean that the spread was great. She still critiqued it, but she kept it in a positive way so those students felt empowered to change their work, to increase their productivity, to become better at what they're doing so that our book can keep the professional look that we've gotten over the last three years. Um, she's also in my marketing class, so she too is with me for three hours a day, plus all the time she comes by and checks in at their school and during between other classes. And in marketing class, I see the same things happening. Even if a student just whispers, gosh, I don't know, she turns around and helps on them. Um, students naturally gravitate towards her and say, what do you think about what I've done? And she gives them ideas. She doesn't tell them how to do the work. She tells them um, tips and tricks to make it better. So for that, um, just being a great student leader, being overall positive, even when she's got to tell people things they don't want to hear, I named her a student.